Goal bars are a great way to call your viewers' attention to the goals you want to obtain. And while Twitch lets you make one, they don't give you a lot of options when it comes to the design. So it just looks kind of bad? So what if we gave the goal bar a big upgrade, allowing it to track multiple goals at once and allowing you to design your own? Let's look at how you can set up Twitch goals so we know what we need to build to beat Twitch's goal system. In your stream dashboard, head into your stream manager and on the right hand side you can find your quick actions. One of the buttons there will be manage goals. If you can't see that, press the plus button and search for goals, then click it and it will add it to your quick actions. Each of these tabs allows you to set a goal, so that means Twitch allows you to make a follower goal, a sub goal and a bits goal. And for the subs, it even allows you to choose between new subs and sub points. I feel like there's one thing missing from this, and it is something I really like to use on my stream all the time. Most streamers won't care too much if their money comes from subs or bits, unless they have specific goals. So I like to use combo goals, which combines subs and bits and counts in support points. So that is one of the key features that I want to add to our goal bar. We are going to design this completely in OBS. So before we start, we are going to need to get ourselves three plugins. The Move plugin and Gradient Source plugin by Exceldro and Advanced Masks by Finite Singularity. To install these plugins, go to the links that I've put in the description down below, and once you click the download button, find the one for your operating system and download it. Once they are downloaded, extract them straight into your OBS folder. And now when you boot up OBS, you will see that a new source has appeared, the gradient source. In a fresh new scene, which I've called Goal Bar, add a gradient source and pick a color. I will go with orange, orangey red, yeah, that looks good. We're done with that, so click OK and head into the Filters menu. Here we're going to add an Advanced Mask filter. This filter allows you to add masks directly into OBS without you needing to create them in a different software first. Oh, and if you don't know what a mask is, don't worry about it. A mask simply allows you to make a part of the source disappear. While there are many mask types, and honestly, some of them are pretty amazing, we are going to set the mask type to Shape and the shape to rectangle. To make this look good, let's set the width to the full canvas size, which for me is 1920, and the height to 400. Then scroll down to the corner radius properties and set the corner radius to 20 pixels. You can also choose not to set that, but if you do, you will get hard corners on your goal bar, which means it's just a rectangle. I like to round them a little bit. And there we go, that's their goal bar already set up. The only thing we have to do is to add a background so that we can see the difference between an empty and a full goal bar. I am going to be lazy with this though because it looks great. So right click your gradient source, copy and paste duplicate. Rename that one to goal bar background and head back into the filter menu. I want this one to be a little bit darker and slightly less saturated. So it looks like the bar is actually filling up. So I'm going to add a color correction filter. Play around a little bit with the gamma, the contrast, and the saturation. Just don't touch the brightness. Tip, never touch the brightness. And then just close the filters. Just drag that underneath the goal bar, and that's us done in OBS for now. It's time to set things up in streamer.bot. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to add two set argument actions. The first one we will call goal type, and this will tell streamer.bot if we want follows, subs, sub points, bits, or a combo goal. In my case, I will set it to combo. The second argument is going to be total goal, and this will simply tell streamer.bot when the bar is supposed to be full. For follows, it is fairly simple. Just set it to the total amount of followers that you want to get on Twitch. Similarly, for subs, sub points, and bits, you set it to the value you want to get new of. So for example, if you want 10 new subs, you set it to 10. And if you want 1000 bits, you set it to 1000. However, for the combo, you need to consider the total points you want. Each bit gives you one point and each tier of sub gives you a different amount as well. 250 for tier one or prime, 500 for tier two and 1000 for tier three. Then it is time to code. However, I'm gonna make it easy for you I've left a link in the description below, so you can just download the action and import it into streamer.bot, meaning you don't have to code, but do look at it so you understand how it works. 
With that out of the way, Setup can now tell Streamer.bot what each of the triggers is worth and how much is needed for the bar to fill up. So we're going to set up the second of the three actions, and this one is simple. At the beginning or the end of your stream, you will want to reset the bar back to zero so that you don't have to think about resetting it. So let's make that happen. Head into OBS and right click the goal bar scene and open the filters. Here, add a move source filter and select the goal bar, not the background, and set the duration to a thousand milliseconds. In the transform bar, we are going to set the right crop to 1920. And now every time the filter turns on, it crops it from the right so that it looks like the goal bar is empty. In streamer.bot, we then add the OBS scene filter state for the goal bar scene and set the goal bar reset to visible. It automatically turns off, so we don't have to do anything else for this one. All that's left for this action is to set up the triggers. I like to set it so it resets when the stream starts, so I choose Twitch, Stream Start, and that's it. The last one we are going to have some fun with, because we are going in raw. Not like that. I mean, OBS raw. Get your minds out of the gutter. First, head into your OBS and add a new GDI text source. Make it look any way you want and click OK. Then right click and edit transform. Set the bounding box to inner bounds and set the alignment to center. Now shape the box so it almost covers the whole width of the bar, leaving a little room for it to breathe. And yes, that's the technical term. Now head back into streamer.bot and use the import code I've told you about before to import the code that you are going to need. What this code does is that it will check what your goal is, if somebody just gave you bits, follows, or subs, and then it will compute how much the bar needs to be cropped based on your total goal. After that, we need to add a get global variable and retrieve the crop width that the code just made. I set the local variable to crop with local, and then we are going to play with OBS raw. OBS RAW allows you to directly communicate with OBS without Streamer.bot getting involved except for sending the data. In OBS, open the filter menu from before again and duplicate the goal bar reset move filter, rename it to goal bar move and set the duration to 300 milliseconds. Then go to this website and in the search bar on the left, look for set source filter settings. By the way, this website has every OBS RAW option that Streamer.bot can handle, and it helps you set it up, which is really awesome. So if you want to go have a play with it, check it out. For now, just copy the request and paste it into an OBS RAW sub-action in Streamer.bot. For the source name, you use the name of your scene. Yes, I know it's weird, but it works. Then for the filter name, set it to goal bar move. In the filter setting, you're going to add this code. I left this in the description too. Just make sure to replace the source name with what you call the top layer of your goal bar. And then we test it and click OK. Now it won't do anything in OBS yet because we are using a variable, but it should work once you actually test the trigger in streamer.bot. The last step we have to do is to set the filter to visible, just like we've done before. Now open the scene you want to have the goal bar on and add this goal bar to the scene as a scene source. You now got an amazing advanced goal bar, which you can add any design on top or use it just like it is for that minimalistic feel. And if you like minimalistic overlays, then you are going to love the free overlays that we give away for you to use. If you want to check out how you set up our newest overlays, then check out the video right here. And as always, stream better, stream smart.